I think one of the most interesting things about this building is because we're in part of the Hilton complex, people don't even know it's here. This is kind of like a secret little office building. You enter off the lobby, which is all marble and all polished, um, and then you come up into here and it's kind of raw and unfinished. So we get a lot of comments about that and it, it sort of surprises people being able to walk into this space after coming out of the Hilton lobby. We'll have, um, we'll have suppliers walk in the office or clients or just um, when the lift doors open. Um, a lot of people are shocked at the flooring and a lot of people wonder whether or not we've finished the, finished the workplace yet. Particularly journalists would walk in and turn to me and say, Stella, when are they going to finish? And one of the reasons, one of, one of the prime reasons I think they do that, is they've chosen to leave the original authentic columns, the way the builders walked off the site in 1970. You'll see little notes about this far to some pipe. And it all adds to this extraordinary realisation that we spend a lot of time in our buildings covering up things that we don't need to cover up. Um, what's exciting about being in this space is that we all get to work as a team and it's very, very open and, and a very sort of collegiate space. Um, the other thing that we really love too is our low light level. So you're not flooded with fluorescent light over your head. You have to turn your task lamp on and it creates your own little pool of light, of space. And I love the, the feeling it creates as you look across the floor. And another person said to me, and who came here visiting in the early days, looked around, he said, it's a bit like working in a nightclub. And, and that's right, that's what it feels like, this sort of dappled light. Because we, we end up living in the studio sort of such long hours, it's fantastic having the central hub as being the kitchen space um, within, within the studio, and also the veranda space, which is behind me. Um, the veranda is really our our open area that gets as much sunlight as possible but also becomes the main meeting place in the studio. When we first moved in there was a journalist in here, I brought several journalists in and uh, he looked around and he said, Stella, he said the city is your wallpaper and that's, he's quite right. We get little cameos of the city at, at this mid-level um, that you never get to experience from the street. So they're the kind of special little things that you find as you're walking around the studio. There's these little little views out into, into the city that we don't know as well. The way that the, the studio is being configured is that, it, that you've got the main working environment, we've got everybody working in teams in that space, and then having the best windows, the best aspect is actually to the east, so we gave that over to the public space, so that really becomes the communal zone that runs the whole length of the office. None of the principals have offices, there's no hierarchy in here. Um, owners sit in with workers, workers of a very high standard sit in with more junior staff. There's no barriers at all, there's no walls up in between staff members, we're all um, able to approach one another quite easily. Uh, look, you know, we probably all would love our own offices, um, but it's not conducive to the way that we work and it's not, it, it, it is much better for us to be sitting amongst our teams and that's what the way that we've configured ourselves completely is that we've actually, the principals have got the smallest desk because in actual fact we've got the less stuff, we're more mobile, we're not there as often and, and people have more space if they've got, you know, they've got areas for drawings and other things for their tasks. So it's, it's completely based on the task or the way that you work is your spatial allocation rather than seniority. It also creates a very uh, democratic feeling and the feeling of actually this is my workplace, that you own it all that no one part is owned by any one person. Sydney Open is fantastic. I mean, it's a great opportunity to be able to unlock the secrets or unlock lots of buildings and spaces that you might not have access to normally. And I think that, you know, it's quite good to explore another part of the city and start to sort of unravel some of the stories and also see how other people work, live um, in different environments. So it's a huge initiative and I think it's, it's terrific for the city and, and it's something that everyone should get involved in.